Okay, I have no idea how long this recording had stopped, so I, I hope that I didn't lose too much material. I was just saying how Spain and uh, the Spanish language is so versatile and um, has lots, a lot, a lot more words for expression than English does. And I picked up a lot of them from the director of the yoga school who's running a quite egalitarian organization and how, how cafes here are really not, not meant for work. They're more like bars. Um, so tomorrow is a really big day for filming for Michelle and I, I hope that we can get some good material out for her. Um, the next stop after this is a town called Santander, where my host sister, one of my host sisters from Denmark now lives, and I get to see her baby for the first time, which will be really nice. Um, but the point of this video is something entirely different. Um, right now, it's extremely cold, um, at least by European standards. Um, minus 2 Celsius, which is about 28 Fahrenheit with the wind chill. Probably minus 10 or 11. Um, but I've somehow developed a kind of meditation that um, has extricated me from suffering um, cold temperatures. This is pretty close to the old town. Um, I... It is a little bit cold so I have to think harder. My, my fingers are not part of the um, meditation of warmth. But um, we walked about... Oh miles or um, around 12 kilometers today along this river that you can see below it goes past a, a stinky milk factory <laughs> um, but at least there's local industry right um, and everyone was complaining of the cold and I have to say that I I really didn't feel cold at all um, if you can, if the sun is out anyway, if you can literally plant your mind within the sun and imagine um, an up-tempo song that you like, you can almost have an internal um, temperature regulator. I... I didn't suffer at all. Now my fingers are a little bit frigid because of um, them being more exposed than everything else. But I I think that everyone should develop their own meditation rituals so that you can um, overcome the, the elements, so to speak. Um, it is super cold, as I said, but I'll give you a little bit of an extended tour of the old town just so you can see what it looks like. Um, again, um, I don't really know Spanish at all to be able to respond appropriately, but I can understand about 85% of what people are saying to me and the things that people have been inquiring about here have been so kind and and um, sincerely interested inquiries. Um, I, I recognize the verbs and I, I know the intent and I think that it's good for people to go ahead and step out of the comfort zone a little bit. Um, it's 
it's a little bit active because with the siesta time, um, people are more likely to be out at night. And I've seen children playing until 10 at night or later. And you'll notice that there are no chain stores to speak of here, except for maybe a couple of um, Spanish supermarkets. Um, it's all local, often artisan made, and um, I think that uh, for that reason they're weathering the recession better than a lot of people really interpret it on the surface. And um, just look at the quality of a lot that you see here. Um, local bookshops, um, clothing stores, and some of it's really not that expensive. I'm sure that um, a lot of it is made abroad as well through um, major uh, production assembly plants and so forth, but there is more of a local touch here, I think. Um, I'm trying to find the cathedral so you can get a night view of what it looks like. But I may be misleading you in the end. I don't want to scare people with the camera because I created a little bit of a unintentional sensation yesterday when I was in the cafe and I pulled out my tarot cards and people were asking lots of questions and yeah it's it was kind of an odd situation but it's not the first time it's happened uh, oh here we go I hope this was worth going through my jabber. <laughs> um, my friend Michelle and I did notice a lot of um, uh, astrological symbology in this cathedral. Actually, I'm so glad I came here at night and with this lighting. And the other nights I have been here, there was no such lighting. Honestly, I couldn't ask for better illumination. And I um, don't know if you can see through the keyhole. Um, Not so much. It must have been enormous, or it must be enormous keys at work. Um, and neither myself nor my friends have been able to date this without, oh, uh, yeah, a wine bottle, uh, without going inside so I really can't tell you what's going on in there and this is the cafe that I'm going to just across the road where it all happened so hopefully there's a seat for me talk to you later bye